that's not good. You've been wobbling. First off, what is today? Oh, that's right, it's Thursday. Throwback Thursday. All right, so we got tool in hand. Phillips head, can you see, can you get in on that? I need to install this screen door, and this has a history, so if you don't know about the screen door, you might want to hear the story first. Okay, so here's the situation. Hi, Christina, how are you? I know I haven't been live on my personal page in a while, so make sure your notifications are set to see first on my personal and on the page, because you just never know when I'm going to go live or where notifications. So here's the history. This was the original screen slider, right? And I got this as Habitat for Humanity about a year and a half, a little over a year and a half ago, my high school sweetheart came to visit, was going through a divorce, and he was sweet enough to do a bunch of different handyman things around the house while he was here. Well, when I first bought this, I did not know how to get these little wheels to pop out because there's springs on them, right? So he took care of it for me. Now, funny enough, a couple days before Tom jumped on the plane, he slid it open and it just fell and one of the wheels on the bottom went, I ain't coming back up because it broke the spring. So I tried to fix it, but when one wheel is pushed in all the way and the other one is out, it doesn't slide. And so this is where, gentlemen, I know you don't realize you're stronger than you realize and that when you slam it open, slam it shut and, and not like have a little delicate, you're just like a woman. Everything needs that soft, gentle touch. Be mindful of how you treat and handle things because they could easily fall apart. That's people, places and things. I'm just saying. Can I tell you, it's really windy outside, so if this thing wobbles, that is why. Hi, Cindy, honey. Do me a favor, if anybody's in this uh, live, do please sit, share this to the group, so that, because I can't share it from the to the group from my uh, live for some reason. Tom's got the special buttons, I don't know why. All right, so this is broken. Actually, it might work on the other screen because it's on the opposite side, so I might be able to flip it and use it there because the top wheels work perfecto, right? Perfetto. E puoi usare nell'altra casa. Solo dicendo. Hmm. So we're going to put this over here. And while I've been doing my vlogs, I know I'm a week behind myself. I'm going to tell you. Today, I talked about my ayahuasca ceremony on Sunday night and I also shared my smoothie recipe. This is the matcha 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 latte. Mm. Super super yummy. That's one big gust of wind y'all. <laughs> All right so just a real quick for the for the smoothie if you're curious. It's two teaspoons of matcha. Five dates medjool, pitted, don't put the pits in there, it just won't blend up. I don't care what kind of blender you got, you don't want to be eating on those pits. One cup of milk, M-A-L-K, it's four ingredients, almond milk, vanilla flavored, which is, it's actually used vanilla bean. And then it has one teaspoon of nettle root powder, one teaspoon of horsetail powder, very good for all of the, the, uh, the collagen re regeneration for the nails to skin the hair right and then it has two ta two a uh, one and a half tablespoon of a heaping gynostemma which is huge for women you really we all need this and then I put um, some coconut water about a cup or so in there I added another cup of water water you could put a, two cups and three frozen bananas that's all that's in this and it's so delicious It's really windy. I hope it's not sounding really windy on this phone. I tried to put the phone in such a way that it's not getting all the wind. Let me know if it's too windy and I can always plug in. So, on another note, here let's get started while the wind dies down. We've got the screw. Hi Sen, how are you honey? 
please let me know if it sounds too windy, if it's giving you too much feedback. <sighs> that you can hear me okay. Matcha matcha, get your matcha on. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you, beautiful Cindy. Mm. Let's get this installed. So, I've already calculated and I put it in the right direction of how it's going to go in there. Now, here's the, st the, the story on this first. Hi, David. How are you? I had to go to Home Depot. Not once, not twice, but a third time. And Tom will tell you it's aggravating. Sometimes I end up having to do multiple trips. Sometimes I've had to, it doesn't matter why, really. The bottom line is you try to harry something, you're in a rush, things just don't work out. Hi, Jadon. Hi, Sylvia. The first time I went, the guy was sitting in his chair. I said, hey, I've got my my dimensions on this, I know exactly what I need. Oh, it's the if you've got the series whatever, then it's just right down there and any one of those will do. And I'm like, uh, I don't feel, I, are, I can tell you right now instinctually, and trust your instincts all of y'all, I didn't feel comfortable with that answer. I didn't feel comfortable when someone tells you and they don't get up and go with you when you know what you need, especially ladies, and we're intuitive enough to go, I just got brushed off. Don't take that as your answer. Okay, I'm gonna have to stand here. So what ended up happening is dad and I get home. I'm thinking, well, he said it was the right one. So I assumed it's the same exact door that I bought at Home Depot. Cause I said, hey, I got a Craftsman Series 50. Okay, go down the aisle. This is the one you should get. I bring it home. I didn't even try it in the slider because it had the aluminum around the edging was so bent it wouldn't have slid because it was warped. I mean, you couldn't tell because they put the plastic and the cardboard around the edges so you can't see when it's broken. <sighs> Couple days later, Dad and I go back. We bring it back. I go through six of them because I said when I went back there to the poor man, Jan, who, I, who helped me buy the first sliding glass door. I said, Jan, I came in, I picked up one and it's warped. It's not gonna work. I hate to do this to you, but I gotta look at them all before I take it home. Because unfortunately, when it comes out of a production plant, you don't know what the workers' conditions are like, what the circumstances are. If it gets banged around in shipment, in the, in the warehouse, you just don't know. Or it's just assembled poorly, right? I went through about six or seven of them before I got a good one. Then I get home with my dad. We go to install it and we're like, mm -hmm. It's too, it's too big. What I mean by that is there's a little, little edgy lip on the bottom. Even if I got it over the lip, the metal wasn't going to allow the wheels to roll. And I'm shaking my head going, how is it possible that this doesn't fit? Okay, I went to New York, I came back, it's been a week. Dad and I went the other day. Third time's a charm. You know, it's a good thing Joe at the desk at service, he, he's seen me there enough times and he's seen that I've replaced, had to return a lot of stuff. It's not me. I'm certain there are a lot of people who don't even want to be bothered with returning. You know how that's how they make their money, people, is people are not willing to turn around and return things because of the time it takes. And I get that. But the squeaky wheel with the patience always gets the grease, always gets the oil. This is actually a lifelong lesson that I've had in my life that, yeah, if you're willing to step up and point out something went wrong, do you want to know in every case there is, okay, customer service is not like it used to be. Used to be for every one person that complained, there were at least 10 that didn't speak up, right? Now it's probably triple that. And the problem with today is, is that the younger generation of, of customer service will say, well, you're the only one talking. You're the only one speaking up. Like they don't know that concept of, wow, if this person's willing to speak up, think of all the people who aren't. Whereas in the, in the old days, and I'm not that old, I'm only 44. In the old days, when I was younger, it was like, wow, okay, you're speaking up. I can imagine there are more people who aren't. And we wanna make the one person happy because they're willing to bring it to our attention. So when you know better, you do better. And that's how I see customer service. 
Don't be embarrassed. Don't feel like you're like, you know, you're, oh, I don't mean to bother you. That's a self-worth issue. If you don't value yourself enough to speak up or return something because you feel guilty that you had to do that, that's part of our society and our conditioning. And that's an old legacy inflicted belief system patterning and uh, behavior that we have kind of been oppressed and suppressed into, right? Think about that. If you speak up because you know, if someone spoke up and they got swatted, right? In school, for example, do you remember the rulers? For some of you who went to school with rulers where they wrap you with the ruler or maybe the paddle or some other form of, uh, of uh, punitive action. One of the things I've learned in my life, and my dad taught me this, ask. You don't ask, you don't know. And that's like the menu of life. If you're unwilling to ask for something outside of the menu, you will never know if you were going to get it. Even if you do ask and they say no, you at least tried. But I guarantee you, 98% of the time you're going to get a yes and you're going to get a satisfactory. So in the case of this, here's what the, de the end result was. This thing, okay, the first screen cost 50 bucks, like 50 something and change. This second one, which is the third technically, because the third time I went back, is like a $75, maybe it was $80 screen. Mostly because at first when I went back, I got a little bit of him and hawing from the guys saying, well, you know, it is the right one and see, it fits in this one. If you've got this model, it fits. And I'm shaking my head going, I'm just, it's not wrapping, my head's not wrapping around it. I said, listen, it's not fitting mine. And then they went into, well, it's been installed improperly. I said, you know what? Here's where I'm at. Here's where I stand. I'm not here to talk about the problems or the somebody else pointing fingers. I'm here for a solution. I'm telling you it doesn't fit my screen sliding glass doors. If it doesn't fit my sliding glass doors as a customer, I don't want to hear pointing fingers of somebody's somebody's got a problem because they didn't shim it right and it's imbalanced. They didn't level it properly. Bottom line is, I need a slide I need a sliding glass, a sliding screen door that works and it fits. That's as simple as it gets, y'all. I'm not here to discuss who's right or who's wrong. I just looking for the solution. So, in the midst of that, I finally got them to go, oh, she doesn't want to, like, because he kept going on about it, and I'm like, could you just direct me, and is there one that might fit? Because here's the dimension I needed. The one that I brought back was somewhere closer to 78 and was totally filling up the space. I needed somewhere between 77 and a quarter, maybe a 77 and a half. So he gave me the extra, the more money one and Joe at the front desk, cause he said, just let him swap it out. I went up to the desk and Joe, I said, Joe, he said, just swap it out. So he went to go put it in the system. I said, well, he just said to swap it out. He goes, no, I'm going to give you that one for $25. So I'm going to discount it even more. So my $50 turned into a $25 purchase of an $80, which y'all know this stuff is so mass produced. It's not even worth what they sell it for. It's ridiculously overpriced and they have it built in for the people who do return stuff for the fact that they know they're getting more than their money's worth that they, you know, if you knew how much they pay in electric advertising and all that, that's ultimately what you pay for. Is there really, I guess I could even say, um, they're waste. We pay in excess for waste and we support more waste as a result of it. And that's in a lot of different ways. Like that whole disposable mind mentality. I dislike buying with the mentality that I'll just get rid of it shortly. I like to think that I'm going to be part of the generation that supports sustainable living. That if I can reutilize something or at least pass it on who, to someone who can, that I am creating a more sustainable future versus contributing to more landfills. You know, it broke my heart to realize any plastic bags you put in the recycling, 
are contributing to issues with the recycling machinery and slowing down that process. I was like, man, that stinks. So like those extra plastic bags, not the kinds that you wrap everything up in, but if you just put a stray plastic bag in the recycling, it's not being, it's not, it's not helpful. In fact, it's causing more problems. So that's why plastic bags, we need to get rid of it. We need to be doing more with paper and paper doesn't have to be from trees, by the way. Paper can be anything from bamboo, cotton, hemp, you know, the co uh, coconut fiber. Anyway, let's move on to this. I know I can just wrap on this subject for eons, but that's what I experienced today. And I just wanted to share that with y'all. Or I should say, that's what I experienced for the past couple weeks because I was trying to get that sorted. Because when the weather changes here, I don't want to turn the air conditioning on because I can't open up the door because the mosquitoes and the cockroaches and anything else that can scurry in while the door is open. And I'm not kidding anything. That's probably how we ended up with the rat. That's probably how I ended up with a couple cockroaches. In fact, I know I saw cockroaches come in the door a couple times when the door has been left open. So here's what we need to do. This top one, I have to screw and push this metal piece down because this is an adjustable door. <sighs> so we're gonna do this together. So this is the top. I'm gonna see if I can do this with it upright and not have to put it down on the ground. My daddy taught me when I was a little girl, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And for whatever reason, this is so tight. Yeah, I'm doing this by hand. So you only need to loosen it a little bit. You don't have to do it really hard because it already slides down. This side, this entire top one's gonna slide all the way down. The only thing that stinks that I found when I was looking at this earlier, there is a little warping on this one piece. But as far as I'm concerned at this point, I just want the darn thing to work. So I can, sh I can open up the door and get a little breeze. Tonight I'm not going to. I can already smell people's chimneys and fires are lit up right now. Hi Linda, hi Brittany, hi Brandy. Hi Holly, honey. All right, I know I'm, I'm quite entertaining today. Oh, look at that, perfect. So now we're gonna tighten it up, righty-tighty, because lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. I remember I was at my grandmother's house with my dad. I forgot what we were assembling. I think it was um, one of those racks that you put on the top of your car with all your luggage and stuff. Oh, hello. Am I going a little bit more? Not that perfect. And I was very handy as a kid. Hey dad, I was just sharing that when I was a little girl that you taught me righty tighty lefty loosey. We were in Grammy's house and I think we were putting together that uh, thing that you put on top of the car, if you remember. So hopefully, hi Jason, let's hope this fits and I don't have to adjust the other side because I really don't feel like it. I know dad's like, it's about time you're putting that thing up. <laughs> all right, um, all right. I'm so excited. Hey, just the fact that I got a screen door that's gonna fit makes me happy. So the first part we put in is the top piece. another trip back. <laughs> you know what might be a problem? <laughs> Is getting this metal piece up inside like it's supposed to go, but you just, I need y'all to pray that that's going to work because it's already not fitting. All right, all right, I get it. So the whole bottom one's gonna have to be screwed up. It's, I'm, I'm just, this is hilarious. Hey Steven, there's my cousin. Well, it looks like the bottom one is already, there's that one. Oh, it is windy! Hi Jessica, how you doing? You see the palm trees moving over, the, or not the palms, the papaya tree over here. Let me tell you, I, I'm looking forward to some papaya. Hmm, they're not quite ripe yet. Ugh. 
I know, because if this doesn't work, Dad and I are going to have to make a fourth trip back. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm all about being as efficient as possible, just saying. Hey, hey Tracy, how are you, honey? Hi, Jessica and Janice. Long time no see, Tracy. Oh wait, that's Lefty Lucy. <laughs> oh, the sky is gorgeous. I have to show you this after I'm done. It's absolutely gorgeous right now. I'm gonna tell you, it's still a little chilly. My fingers are cold. Although, from my understanding, yesterday we were the warmest other than Hawaii, my, my neighbors and I were talking as I was walking Buddy. All right, this is the bottom. All right, let's see if we can get the hair to stay still. All right, let's see if this will work. Oh boy. No! Or yes. We're almost there. Dad, I need your help. Wow, that one wheel does not want to pop in. What's going on there? Ugh. I need a big, strong man. This is one of those moments where I wish my ninja was here to help me with this. Hey, Pamela, honey. Ugh. Little bit of a matcha, matcha, matcha moment. when it comes to installing and doing what I, doing things home wise maybe if I go to the middle there's a, there's kind of a little bit of a Patience, young Jedi. That's all I'm saying. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Hey, Kelly. I'm trying to install this sliding screen door. It's not working as smoothly as I'm ho I was hoping. But, so far, so good. Fourth time might be the charm if this one doesn't work, but I can't handle a fourth trip back to Home Depot on this. Wow, these wheels are really hard to press. Woo! Hello? <laughs> Did I mention it's windy up in here? <laughs> Alright, so. Maybe if we put you over here, you won't fall. I did have you kind of on an unstable surface. So one thing I'm noticing is that this uh, the seal on the side is a little bit I have to push it up a little bit to the top but yeah these wheels are super tight. This one 
doesn't even want to push in. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So this is the top. This is the bottom. Who else we got in the house? Hey, Matthew. Hi, Kayla. I know, thought I was falling. No, it was just the stand. It was the phone and everything else. <laughs> so let's try this again. What do I do with that? I know I tossed the screwdriver now, didn't I? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I didn't. I put it up here. Tools come in handy. Alright. Alright, so far as I'm seeing, the actual frame does not slide up in here, which is not good. I can push it up, but it's not gonna slide slide. So cross your fingers is just a matter of getting the wheels over on top where it needs to sit and I can still slide it open and close. So far, there's one. Now it's just getting this one on. Oh, looky, looky. There's one. Now we just need to put down this side. Now, Yikes. Ooh. Well, <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man. Uh. Oh boy. Must be smarter than the screen. Home improvement ain't no thing. Well, I got the wheels on the bottom. The problem is that top, it's a tight fit. It might not want to open and close. Hi, Stella and Carolina. And it still sits in balance, which I'm sure has to do with the installation of the frame. But the key, maybe if I can get it to, it's kind of a slippery slope. OMG. I mean, I could kind of work with this, but I'm going to have to fix this uh, seal on the top side because I know the seal has a lot to do with this. I know when, when Aaron was here and he installed it, the other one for me, he had to cut part of this um, the seal piece, that black stripping. <sighs> this is just a crazy experience all over. All right. Hey, the key is that I got it on there. I can still use it. It's going to shave the top every time it opens and closes because it's all um, metal. But I think I can get it to work. Heck, I've always been very resourceful. Anybody who has ever worked with me in my past knows that I've been a resourceful individual, especially in the IT realm. I know, worst case scenario, dad will show up and maybe he'll add some ideas and suggestions. So, on that note, do you have any questions for me? I'm just asking why you got me, while well, I'm live, while well, I'm candid, shoot, a, shoot at me. What do you think? What did you think of the New York City blogs? Oh, still got a whole lot to share. Ooh, and beyond addiction, now that's another story that and the ayahuasca ceremony and everything got lots of goodies in store um, keep in, keep your oh heck with this so I don't know if I showed y'all I got my hair taken care of and it feels so much better now that I can run my fingers through it it doesn't get as snarled up I have to wash it tonight actually that would be fun tonight I have to get up and clean off the fans I finally got certificates done the other day, the other night. 
Hallelujah. Oh, I kind of like this. Using the camera as my as my mirror. All right, y'all. You know I love you. I love you. I kind of got it installed, honey bunny. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you are. <laughs> so it's because this sits in balance. That's really why it's not going to slide easily. But <gasps> no. And then it came off the wheel. Dang it. I guess I'll have to have one of these handy every time. All right. I got it on here the first time, and I know it works. The problem is, is because of this metal thing on top, I wonder if I could just take that darn thing off. Now that's an idea. Let's try and see if we can. Dang it, it's, a, it's attached to the darn metal thing. Can you see that? See, if it wasn't attached to this whole extra piece, life would be a whole lot simpler. Because I don't need that. But my concern, oh, you know what? I wonder, wouldn't it be nice if maybe I took this whole thing off? Okay, let's just try and see if that works. Because then I'm wondering. Again, lefty loosey, righty tighty. If I take this whole thing off, the top, maybe I have to release some of the bottom one, you know, make it a little longer. At least if it rolls on the, the legs on the bottom side, do you think it'll stay? Because it'll go up into the frame like it's supposed to. Okay, we don't want to lose the pieces. So, actually what we'll do Put them back inside of here. Since these are Phillips heads anyway. I think that's in there. I can't see start. Oh well, here. You better keep these together. Um, everything's a Phillips, which is nice to work with. Hi Fauna, hi Rister. Hi Linda, honey. Alright, we're gonna put those up there. Maybe that will work. See, this might have to be shaven down, this, this piece here, because it keeps catching on the very top, which is fine. Stuff happens. Keeps threatening to rain. I was going to take Buddy for a walk. I still can. It gets dark here so early now because of daylight savings. I took Buddy out yesterday. What was it? Uh, took him out about 5.36. I mean, it literally gets dark here at 5.30. But we set the clocks back, and unfortunately, that messes all up, us all up. You know that there's like um, an association with daylight savings and depression, right? So if any of you have been going through it, I'm I've been going through my own like stuff. So you know, just be kind on yourself, be gentle with yourself, because oh, see, they done messed messed us up. But you know what? There's these, this area here. If it's the same width, I bet you that might work. No, it won't because it won't sit in there. Yeah, they didn't. If I have to do this myself, if I have to drill two more holes just so it'll fit here, I will do that. Because I can and I will if I need to. But we're, we're going to try to do first. I'm going to slide because he. I'm going to have trouble with this darn seal piece. I had the same problem with the other one, where it would sometimes pop out. Oh, let's try this again. Alright, this will go up. And this will sit down on the wheel. Uh, 
kind of better, but not really. Yeah, the, now the issue is going to be the, the um, that plastic, or it's, I wish I could say it was rubber, but it's definitely not plastic, it's something in between the two. Well, the wheels work, and that's the key. The next thing is trying to fix the seal, and I'm going to have to find a way to make that sit properly. So, that was the old one. Hmm. Wind happens. Hi Kathleen, and hi, how are you? So, the best solution I can say that would work, because even this is a little bit too tight to push up in there with that seal on it on one side. I'm going to have to cut back the seal with the... Um, so I'm going to have to trim off the edge and that will be my solution. <laughs> Hold that thought, I've got to go get something to, keep, to seal it. called a razor. All right, so here's what we got to do. It's already kind of cracking on that end, and this one keeps lifting or getting caught as well. So the whole point is, is that the seal is supposed to keep the bugs out. comments let me know where are you tuning in from what do you think I think this is a, a good deal <laughs> there's one part oh and be, be very careful if you're working with sharp objects you know you some of you've been watching me long enough to know I lick lick the knives in the kitchen so me and sharp objects we gotta Pretty close relationship. All right, that. All right, so I shaved down a small portion on that end. Hi, Gina, honey. So I'm gonna go right below at an angle. This is a sharp razor too. So. Keep your hands away from the sharp objects is the point, right? It's always best to cut away from your body, not towards yourself. I know with the paring knife, me and the paring knife have some strange relationship. I always go toward myself. All right, that piece. Oh. Hey, Tony, how are you? All right. Oh, and there I go again. I'm going toward myself. Well, you know, things happen. Okay, that. I know, I need a big strong man over here. Just saying. Well, we don't always, ladies, but it's nice to, you know, I like to have somebody who's knowledgeable in what they're doing. I'm willing to um, accept help when needed, and I'm more than willing to ask for it these days. Before, and even still sometimes now, I mean, obviously I'm just doing this. I've just been like, I'll just do it myself. But it's, it takes courage and vulnerability to ask and allow. The big one being to allow. Now, like I said, I might have to get out the drill. And I don't know if my drill bit, um, I know, right? No, New York clothes, no. 
uh, what I'm wearing, no, this is a Free People top. And these are Mark and Makers that I got at Nordstrom down here in Florida. But thanks for asking, Linda. <laughs> so I may, like I said, I'm probably going to have to get out a drill. Hey, Dad, if you're still watching this, um, if you have a drill bit that will go through metal, I'm probably going to have to do some drilling into this frame itself because I don't see the point in having... Yeah, I think it'll work better. I think it'll sit in here better, too. So this should go up now. Uh-oh, that's not working. I have to cut that back some more. I almost feel like I need to find a way to keep this screwed in, too. This is the only thing with the metal stuff, right? Yeah, the clothes I got up in um, New York were Lululemon and... Um, you know, I like Forever 21. I do and I don't. Here's the thing. I guarantee this they're, they're probably not the most sustainable. My paycheck right now doesn't exactly say, look, you can afford to buy everything that's made um, sustainably, not in sweat, sweat shops and all that other stuff. I mean, I do the best I can. Oh, good job. <sighs> Personally, I want to start my own line of clothing. Even free people used to be considered, um, or so I understood, free people initially I thought was um, like fair trade. There's, there's a good one. I think it's called fair trade when they use sustainable uh, methods as well as uh, no slave labor, let's say. I'm still trying to get this that doesn't catch when I go to put it up into the frame. Okay. Cross your fingers I get this to work because I just, I don't have, like I said, I can't do a fourth trip to Home Depot just for this thing. Because I had to go with my dad in the, in the truck and I don't have a truck. Alright, so this just sit on the bottom. Above, which means I might have to shim, trim some of this, but guess what? It's not gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put wheels on the top. Here's a reason for everything. But at least the wheels go on the bottom. I'm happy for that part. I mean, the other alternative, yeah, it would be better because if I get the wheels on the top like it is on this, the wheels go into the frame and I wouldn't have to worry so much about the frame going up into the top. All right, so that'll be my next project, getting the drill out, drilling holes into that in the exact same spots, and then, see, look, that's the inside where that piece sets. And it's all plastic. So I can just take the whole inset and put it in the other one and it should be fine, right? So that'd be my next project. And like I said, I think I can reutilize this this screen. Maybe I can take you with me when I do this. Yeah, let's try this. So the back porch back over there Even though Ninja Tom got one of those really cool magnetic screens, I wonder if this will fit better in here because the thing is, is the way this one is set up. See, he put this piece here in, but because of the way, let's see if I remember which way this goes. So that's the top. No, that's the bottom. So this. If that were the bottom on the other side, it would be that. That needs to go the other way. So, maybe. This guy 
sky's pretty tonight. That's funny. I don't see the outside. Yeah, that's about right. So, that means this needs to go this way. So, if I were to put this on this screen, So I think I can play with this one over here as an alternative, but this, this is kind of fun. Like you go in, you slide, and it just attaches itself. I thought that was cool, but the problem is, is right here, all the sticky stuff is coming up. And for whatever reason, I have not figured out, I've got to contact the people that installed my sliders. They never did finish the exterior um, framing, hence why there's an issue with uh, insulation and air coming through, but then my whole house isn't insulated on both in both buildings, so, oh well. Okay, so that's that. Well, y'all, it's been fun, it's been grand. I'm so happy with the way the pavers turned out though. Let me tell you, this is a huge difference from what it was before. Huh, what's that? Is that from... I guess Buddy decided to um, chew some grass and spit it up. Okay. Hi Teresa, how are you? Hi Allie. Hi everyone. Okay. Dancing on the table, dancing all around, because you know I haven't danced in the kitchen in a while. That would have to be next, because it's been a while since I made a special cake just for you. So, I love you all. I'll see you later.